This is Turtles of Grayskull, Moss Man, Mutated Master of Nature. Eternia's living manifestation of nature, Moss Man, joined He Man to investigate the mysterious disturbance at the swamp of Gangoon. After an ambush took him out of commission, Moss Man rose from what felt like a nightmarish slumber as a brainwashed abomination of all he once held dear. So, on the back, you see him engaging here with Leo. And then down here, there's different poses. You can attack with the fly trap or swap it onto head to chomp enemies. Let's open him up. When you open him up on the side, you also see more instructions and detailed instructions on how to assemble. We're going to slide him out. And it looks like there's a comic book in there. Or is it a card? Oh, you know what? No, it's not a comic book. It is a card. Moss Man, mutated master of nature, mutagen master powers. Moss Man can camouflage in nature, shape shift into plant life, telepathic communication with plants. His mutation, zombified manifestation of the dark forest overgrown with dangerous plants, overpowering toxic scents. That's what the card looks like. And you also get... A little bit of an instruction. Wait, let me make sure I didn't miss anything else coming out of the box. And that would be a no. Okay, so here he is. And let's remove all of his accessories. Okay, so here he is out of the packaging. Let's check out how he moves. And then we will attach some of his accessories to him. So here is his leg. His foot turns round and round. His leg also turns here. And then there he is is his knee, which bends. And then here is the whole leg. It goes, opens out, it goes forward, it goes backwards. Same thing with this leg. His hand turns, this is his arm. This is the motion of his arm. And this is, oh yeah. And it also moves at the elbow. This is his head and the motion of his head, okay. Then he has these things that attach to his back here. Oh, also he he twists this way and that way. And then that's what it looks when these are attached to his back. He also has this and it opens and closes. So when he eats somebody, um, not quite sure where this goes. So I'm going to look at the book. So this is when you take his head off and you attach the Venus fly trap. So let's... Let's take his head off. <laughs> Let's take his head pops off real easy. So then you push this part in here and then this part pops in to here. And now he's a Venus flytrap and he can ingest his people and it rotates around. Same thing with, um, or, or his opponent, whoever he's fighting. Okay, so that's kind of menacing if you ask me. Oops, I pulled it off on accident, but it pops right back in real easy. And it's real easy to take his head off, which is this, and attach the Venus flytrap. Oh, and then there's this. And then this is a weapon that attaches to his hand. So let's put his head back on because this is what he looks like when he's fighting with that piece. And you can see that on the back of the box. Okay, so he comes with one, two, three, four, five pieces, extra pieces. And I'm going to attach this one and it's going to look like it's one by itself, but it's actually two pieces. And this is his head when he is the Venus flytrap and it opens and closes and you just take this head off and do that. And then those are the two pieces that attach to his back. And I almost forgot he doesn't just come with this. He has a card that you can collect, and on the back of the card, it tells you all of his powers and mutations. 